Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. Today is Tuesday and the date is 7 of September 2021. Today we will have a writing lesson. Okay, kita akan uh, belajar sedikit penulisan. So, I will use this table to explain to you the differences between simple present tense and simple past tense. Teacher akan menggunakan jadual ni untuk menerangkan tentang perbezaan simple present tense dan simple past tense. When do we need to use simple present tense and when do we need to use simple past tense? Bila kita perlu guna simple present tense dan bila kita perlu guna simple past tense? So, these two tenses are really important to indicate the type the types of text okay dua tenses ni adalah penting untuk uh, menunjukkan jenis teks yang ditulis so first uh, we will identify identify tu mengenal pasti okay we will identify simple present tense okay when we describe someone's routine Routine maksudnya uh, aktiviti yang dilakukan seharian dan ianya berulang-ulang setiap hari sepanjang tahun seumur hidup. Okay, uh, the activities are repeated. Okay, they are pattern, repetitive and um, they are actually routine. Okay, aktiviti itu semuanya adalah rutin. Uh, kehidupan seseorang So let's read the text This is Julia Every day She wakes up at 9 o'clock In the morning She takes A shower And gets dressed So When you identify uh, The type of text And the tense used we will look at the verbs. Okay, kita akan tengok verbs. Verbs tu adalah kata kerja. So, every day she wakes. Okay, dia bangun pagi, wakes up at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, she takes takes a shower and gets dressed. Gets another verb here. So all the three verbs here are written in simple present tense because they they didn't change their Spelling, okay. Spelling tidak berubah, okay. It comes with s because she is a singular subject. She Julia tu seorang, jadi verb kena tambah s. So this is the rule of simple present tense. So let's look at simple past tense. The text type, a recount. Okay, this is a recount. Recount tu maksudnya penceritaan semula. Okay, to retell a story or a sequence of events which happened in the past. Okay, sequence of events. Turutan jalan cerita yang berlaku. Yang telah berlaku pada masa lampau. Sebentar tadi, semalam, kemarin, minggu lepas. Those are rec recounts. Okay? So, let's look at the text. Last Sunday, Farisha and her family went for a picnic at the beach. They were very excited. Last Sunday, 
Farisha and her family went for a picnic at the beach. They were very excited. So let's look at the the verb used went pergi go go is changed to went when we write a recount we will use the verbs in their past tense forms apabila kita menulis recount penceritaan semula Cerita yang telah berlaku pada masa lampau, kita perlu menukar ejaan kata kerjanya. Okay, so there are regular verbs and irregular verbs. Kalau regular verbs, kena tambah ed. Kalau irregular verbs, kita kena, uh, kena tukar ejaan. Go, jadi went. At the beach, they were very excited. Mereka sangat Gembira, sangat teruja. They were. Are is changed to were. So let's look at the time phrases used. So for routine, for simple present tense, the time phrases will be like every day, every week, every night. Daily, usually, frequently, but then for past tense, you will see the phrases in their past tense form. Look at last, last maksudnya lepas. Hari Sabtu yang lepas, last Sunday, hari Ahad yang lepas. So, you will use these time phrases to indicate your tenses too. Okay, kamu akan menggunakan frasa masa untuk menunjukkan type of tenses, jenis tense yang kamu guna. Whether it is simple present tense or simple past tense. So I hope you will try out the activity that I will share with you later in the WhatsApp group. So all the best 